and how, how do you feel the transition from safety to linebacker? Uh, I feel like it's been a good transition so far. Uh, I feel like it's kind of just got to take some reps, like even the spring ball, ball camps been helping me, but the game reps, like getting more of those been good. What's been the biggest challenge for you going from safety to linebacker? Um, I'd have to say it's kind of being in the box because being star mostly to the passing strength, it's the field side, so I'm outside the box. I'm used to that, but kind of being the tackle, just looking, reading the guards and stuff like that is probably the biggest challenge I've had so far. What's the biggest challenge you think Houston is going to present for you guys on offense? Um, I'd probably have to say like RPO or just the ability of the quarterback being able to run. So I just have to say, like, you have to have good eye discipline and just everybody has to do their 111th. And then just when he starts to run, don't leave your man to where until he crosses the line of scrimmage and just make sure we do everything right. How big of a confidence boost was it for you guys last week to hold them out of the end zone? Uh, I'd say that was a uh, really good confidence boost. I know us as defense, we were talking about that, just trying to keep them out of the end zone. So we were just trying to fly around, be fast, physical, just make some plays. Kind of like that, Andrew. How did you guys prove last year on sports and kind of keep that chip on your shoulder? Um, I feel like that chip on your shoulder, to be honest with you, from like last year, I feel like it really never went away because no matter how many games you win, people is always saying something. So, and like even how the last season ended, like we kind of all summer were thinking about it and trying to just write a new season. And what are you weighing right now? Uh, I'm about 225. What's your weight coming out of high school? I want to say 180, maybe. Yeah. How, how's that journey been? How hard has that been to put that weight on? Um, I'd say since I've been at TCU, it's been real easy to put on the weight. But like at high school when I was in JUCO, it was kind of hard because that like food stuff I had to find on my own. But being here, like the nutritional staff and just people in general have done like a really good job getting, getting me to where I need to be. When you left high school um, and you ended up having to go junior college, did you, did you still have that Division One dream or were you worried that, hey, this thing may not work out? No, yeah, that, that was for sure the dream. I was all in or nothing. And when did you realize, hey, it's, this is going to work? Uh, I'd have to say probably around my first season in um, JUCO because that's when I first started talking to a couple of schools and getting like FCS. And then I came back for another year. In high school, were you a corner or safety? I was a corner. Thank you. So you played safety in junior college. Yep. Now playing linebacker. Yep. You think you stopped, so you better get moved again. Nah, that's, this is the line I'm not, yeah, yeah. my hand's not going on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what, what's, what is it with the number four? Uh, I just say that has a lot of meaning to me just because my family, you know, uh, four siblings, uh, all born in the month of April, fourth month. I got a little brother, he's August, which is four months after that. There's a whole bunch of four. I got a dog named Quattro, number four. So it's a whole bunch of fours. Your, um, your, those other siblings, are they athletes as well? What yes, they? they are. Uh, I had a younger brother who plays football at K-State. I have a twin sister who plays basketball at UNLV. What number do they wear? Uh, brother got 98, some freshman number, and then my sister's the one. Anything else for Nancy? Uh, <laughs> who have you seen start to maybe step into a leadership role on the defensive side of the ball this year as some of those guys graduated off last year's team? I would like to, even though some of the some of the guys that left, I'd like to say is more so like the returners are more so the leaders. So like people like Josh and Mark are more so the leaders, like vocal leaders. Because there's also people like even myself, like I'm not really much of a talker, but I'm more so the kind of just through actions, just doing the right things and seeing people seeing that and they want to just keep doing more. Similar to what I asked Andrew earlier, Hodge's comments from last week, you only allowed six points on Saturday. Did you use that as motivation going into that week? Uh, I wouldn't really say it was motivation. I kind of just say like each week, we kind of just reset the mind and just kind of just prove what we got to do for that week. So obviously that first game, we felt like the defense didn't play, didn't play the way we were supposed to play. So week two, we felt like we had stepped up.